hello welcome to this video how to solve for n when you have n squared minus n cubic is equal to 150 so the first thing is we bring 50 to the left so that you on the right we will be left with 0 150 can be written as 125 plus 25 so uh, removing this bracket 125 will become negative and a positive 25 will become negative now 125 is the same as 5 cubic and 25 is the same as 5 squared so we group the terms with n squared and with the term with 5 squared and the term with n cubic with this term with 5 power 3 to obtain so grouping this term we will have n squared minus 5 squared minus n cubic minus 5 cubic is equal to 0 at this point we are going to use the difference of square so that n squared minus 5 squared we will use this identity the difference of two squares is bracket a plus b multiplied by bracket a minus b. So our a is equivalent to n and our b is equivalent to 5. So relating this part we obtain, we shall have bracket n plus 5 bracket, bracket n minus 5 bracket minus n cubic minus 5 cubic is equal to 0. Now for this part, we can see that negative 1 is common so we factorize negative 1 in this part negative 1 we shall be left with the positive 1 cubic and negative 5 cubic we shall be left with the positive 5 cubic which is equal to 0 this part here we are going to apply the difference of a perfect cube so that we have so we shall make use of this identity when you and you have a cubic plus b cubic is the same as bracket a plus b multiplied by a squared minus a b plus b squared in our case our a is n and our b is 5 so rewriting this part with n cubic plus 5 cubic in in form of this identity here we start off so we are going to have this result here and clearly you can see that uh, n plus 5 is common so you factorize n plus 5 outside so that we obtain so factorizing in the first part we shall be left with the bracket n minus 5 and in the last part we are going to be left with this quadratic part here so the inner bracket we simplify it to obtain so you will have n plus 5n when you remove the bracket here this negative but the negative will become positive then you have negative 5 minus and the positive will, will become negative so that you have n plus 5n is 6n and the negative 5 negative 5 and the negative 25 will be negative that So this is what we have here. Th this implies that uh, n plus 5 is equal to 0 and 6n minus n squared minus that is equal to 0. From these two, we are going to solve for n. Our first value of n will be equal to negative 5 when we take n to the right. This other one is a quadratic equation, which we are going to solve by use of the quadratic formula. So dividing by negative throughout negative n squared divided by negative 1 will be n squared. Negative 1 divided by 6n will be negative 6n. Negative 1 divided by that negative that will be that is equal to 0. So applying quadratic formula, n will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. In our case, 
our a is 1, our b is negative 6, and our c is that. So substituting b with negative 6 and a with the 1 and c with that we obtain we shall have negative negative 6 plus or minus negative 6 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by that divided by 2 multiplied by 1 because a is 1 b is negative 6 and c is that so negative 6 squared will be that and negative 4 times 1 times that will be 120 and the 2 times 1 will be equal to 2 so that a 6 minus 120 is equivalent to a negative 84 and here negative for the negative 6 is equal to, to 6 so this is what we have and negative 84 can be written as 21 times 4 times negative 1 so 21 times 4 times negative 1 is the same as uh, is the same as negative 84 so here we can separate the the square root so that we obtain so square root of 4 is 2 and the square root of negative 1 is i so clearly you can see you can divide 6 by 2 to obtain 3 and you can divide 2 by 2 to obtain 1 so our value of n is 3 plus i root 21 or 3 minus i root 21 so the question which you are given was was n n squared minus n cubic is equal to 150 and you are required to obtain the value of n and you obtain that one of the value of n as n1 is negative 5 and the other two values are a complex whereby we have n2 as 3 plus i square root of 21 and n3 as 3 minus i square root of 21 so those are the possible solutions of n when you have negative n cubic plus n squared is equal to 150 and thanks for learning with me remember to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss a single video which i upload for us every day and bye bye for now. See you in the next video.